Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 2 and 3. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 9th, 1973, in London, England. Translation Sanjaya said, O king, after looking over the army gathered by the sons of Pandu, King Duryodhana went to his teacher and began to speak the following words. So, Dhritarashtra inquired from Sanjaya, Kimakurvat, after my sons and my brother's sons assembled together for fighting, what did they, did they do? This was the inquiry. So, uh, to encourage him, because Sanjaya could understand the feelings of his master that he wanted the fight, no compromise. Chatriya uh, spirit, let my sons and my brother's sons fight. That is Chatriya spirit. My sons are one hundred in number, and they are only five. So certainly my sons will come out victorious, and then the kingdom is assured. That was his plan. So Sanjaya, his secretary, could understand the feeling. Uh, of course, at last he did inform differently. Uh, Jatra, Jogi uh, Sarohari. <coughs> at last he described, My dear sir, you do not expect victory. It is not possible. Because the other side is Krishna, Jatra Yogi Sarahari, and the fighter Arjuna. So it is beyond your expectation of victory. But in the beginning, he says, don't be discouraged. There was no compromise. Immediately, your son, Dujyadhan, and he is addressing himself as Raja. Uh, because Sitarashtra would be encouraged when at least he thinks of his son becoming the king. Therefore, he said, Raja. So, Dhrishtva to Pandavani. Dhrishtvaan uh, did not expect that the Pandavas would be able to accomplish uh, military strength so nicely because they were bereft of all sources. Their kingdom was taken away, their money was used, they were sent into the forest, so many uh, tribulations. But the Foolish, the Jadhan did not know that above all there was Krishna on that side. That he could not calculate. Uh, therefore, when he saw the Pandavas are well equipped with good number of soldiers, Pandavanikam, he was a little surprised. Yeah, how they could gather so many soldiers? Uh, so immediately to consult the commander in chief, Dunacharj. Dunacharj was everyone's teacher. Acharya. Acharya means teacher. Acharya Mamasangam. The military teacher. So Dujadhan, he was military teacher of the Pandavas also. When all of them were children, they were given under the uh, instruction of Dunacharya. Dunacharya was Brahmana, but he knew the military art. 
Therefore, he was appointed teacher for all the boys, the Kaurava. So, uh, but uh, Acharya, Donacharya joined with Dujyadeva. Bhishma Dev joined with Dujyadeva. Uh, none of them joined with Arjuna. Because Arjuna or Maharaj Yudhishthi was not king at that time. The financial control was not in their hands. And uh, these people, sons of Dhritarashtra, they were on the government political power. The financial control was in their hands. So they were giving enough money for maintenance. So Donacharya and Bhishma Dev, uh, so they felt obliged. Of course they knew everything, but externally they felt obligation. Arjun, I am getting money from Dujadhan. So in this point of danger, if I do not join him, he does not do well. I am getting financial maintenance. Uh, of course, Arjuna did not ask him. Arjuna was satisfied with Krishna. That's all. Uh, Krishna also divided himself uh, because it is family court. So, he said, I cannot take part with anyone. And even if I take part, side of any of you, I shall not fight. Directly I shall not fight. I may be on your side or that side, but I will not fight. Uh, still Arjuna was satisfied. Uh, so Krishna, in order to satisfy Arjuna, that I shall not fight, but I shall become your chariot. Uh, I shall drive your chariot. Uh, so in this way the battle was arranged, and when Dhritarashtra inquired, Kimapurvata Sanjaya, what did they do? Uh, he says, so don't be disappointed. There was no compromise. Immediately your son after seeing the military arrangement of the Pandavas, he was surprised and immediately went to uh, Dronacha. He is the commander-in-chief appointed first. What to do? Uh, Raja Vachana Mabravit. Then he began to speak, uh, to inform Dronacha. <coughs> So next verse. Shaitam, Shaitam, Panduputranam, Panduputranam, Acharya, Mahatim, Chamum, Yudham, Drupada, Patrena, Tava, Shishena, Timata, Pashaitam, Panduputranam, Pashaitam, Panduputranam, Acharya, Acharya Mahatim Chumum, Acharya Mahatim Jamum, Vyudhang Drupadupatrena, Vyudhang Drupadupatrena, Tavashishyena Dhimata, Tavashishyena Dhimata, Pashyaitang Panduputrana, Pashyaitang Panduputrana, Acharya Mahatim Chumum, Acharya Mahatim Chumum, Bhūrāṁ dhrupada putrena Tava shishyena dhīmata Pashyaitāṁ pāṇḍu putrāṇāṁ Pashyaitāṁ pāṇḍu putrāṇāṁ Bhūrāṁ dhrupada putrena Tava shishyena dhīmata 
Teacher, behold the great army of the sons of Pandu, so expertly arranged by your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupada. Uh, intelligent. Uh, this Drupa, this son of Drupada, uh, he was meant for killing Dronacha. Dupad Maharaj was not in good terms with Dronachar. So he performed a yoga to get a son who could kill Dronachar. That son is this uh, Drupada. So Dronachar knew that Dupad Maharaj has got his son, in future he would kill me. Still, when he was offered to become his disciple, to learn military art, he accepted. Yes? That means the brahmanas are so liberal. When he is coming as my disciple, Never mind, he would kill me in future, that doesn't matter, but I must give him teaching. Therefore this word is used, dhīvata, very intelligent. He has learned the military science from you just to kill you. Dhīvata, kavasiṣṭhena, your disciple. He has arranged, this is the pointing out. So that he may be angry. Huh? This rascal has learned from me and he wants to kill me. Huh? But no. Duty is duty. Huh? After all, everyone will die. Nobody will exist. Huh? So nobody should be afraid of death. Huh? This is Vedic civilization. Huh? Death is inevitable as sure as death. Who can avoid death? So, being afraid of death, we should not deviate from our duties, real duty. That is Vedic civilization. So, Dujyadar wanted to point out that this boy, your disciple, he, uh, it is fixed up that he is meant for killing you, and he has arranged nicely military plans uh, just to defeat you. Uh, and he has learned this art from you. Therefore, he is using this word dhimata. Dhi, dhi means intelligence. Dhimat shabda. Dhimat. Dhi means intelligence. And mat means one who possesses. Astatya matupratta. When one possesses something, in this sense, this uh, pratyaya, in Sanskrit there are pratyayas, so matup pratyaya. So matup, from matup it comes to mat. Sanskrit language means it is so uh, reformed that each and every word has significance. 
not that uh, like your English language, beauty but beauty put. No, not like that. If you say beauty but, you must say beauty but, but no, you change. Beauty but, beauty put. Why? Uh, this kind of change cannot be allowed in Sanskrit language. If the you means a, ah, just like beauty, but, then it must always mean like that. Uh, no change. <coughs> so, dhimata, dhi means intelligence. Dhi uh, means intelligence. So one who has got intelligence, uh, every word is used with full meaning. Uh, Sanskrit language is so nice. Therefore, it is called Sanskrit. Sanskrit, Sanskrita. Sanskrita means reform. And the alphabets are called Devanagari. Devanagari means these alphabets, just like in Europe, the Roman letters are used. Similarly, in the upper planetary system, these alphabets are used. Devanagari used in the cities of the demigods. And the language is called Sanskrit, most reformed. Uh, and Sanskrit is the mother of all languages. Even in this planet, uh, the Latin is also derived from Sanskrit. Uh, just like the maternal, the matri shabda, paternal, pitri shabda. Uh, <coughs> so, dhimata. Uh, so, here the writer is best there. Uh, so, every word is selected either in Bhagavad Gita or in Srimad Bhagavatam or the Puranas. All writings, uh, Mahabharat, uh, each and every word is used just like weighing in the balance. Uh, this should be, uh, so many words should be in the beginning, so many words should be in the end, uh, not whimsically. They cannot be allowed. Uh, that is called Sanskrita Sahitya, literary. Uh, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was hearing Keshav Kashmiri, as soon as there was little discrepancy, Bhavani Bharta, immediately he criticized and defeated him. Uh, Sanskrit language is so nice. Prasaitang Pandaputrana, Acharya, my dear teacher, just see how many military soldiers are standing there on behalf of the Pandavas, and they have been arranged by your desire, who is meant for killing you. So just remember, that means you become more strong that this, this boy and the other party may not kill you. Uh, but Duryodhana does not know that the death does not depend on military strength or bodily strength. Uh, when death will come, nobody can check. Death is God. Uh, 